Welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and today we are talking cables. Let's get into it. So when I first got my Delta Pro, there was a lot to understand about not only the power station itself and the smart home panel and the solar panels and how they connect, there was a lot that I didn't understand about the actual cables themselves, how the solar panels connected to each other, how they connected into the Delta Pro. And I thought it might be helpful if I broke down what I understand. I'm not saying I'm an expert. It's just things I've learned over um, my ownership of the Delta Pro that now, uh, you know, I wish I would have known to begin with, but also some just surprising inconsistencies that I found that I want to point out. So that's what this video is about. So I have here two cables. I'm going to go over um, them separately, but I'll start with, they both have these these uh, connectors. These are called MC4 connectors and they are a standard uh, in um, solar panels. So any of the rigid solar panels that you purchase, most portable flexible solar panels will utilize these MC4 connectors unless you're <coughs> jackery. Uh, but otherwise this is a real standard. They're I, you know, IP rated for water, uh, waterproof, weather resistant, um, they're really good connectors. I, I could talk a lot about the connectors themselves, but main thing is these are the connectors that your solar panels will utilize. There's a male, or, I'm sorry, a male version and a female version. <clears throat> and you know, the, you know, obviously black and red, you plug in the black to black, the red to red. It, it's very simple. You get that part. That's not hard. Um, like I said, this cable also has those connectors on it. Now the <clears throat> other end of these cables, are slightly different. This is an XT60 connector, and this is an XT60i connector. There is a difference. And <clears throat> what's interesting is, I mean, well, okay, so the <laughs> difference, it's not just the color. Uh, the XT60 is yellow, XT60i is orange. Although I will say that is usually how they come, right? Like, I guess, suppose it's possible you could get a blue XT60i or green or pink or something, but typically yellow is going to be XT60, orange is going to be XT60i. <clears throat> okay, so what do you need for your Delta Pro? Well, to get the max 1600 watts out of your solar arrays, ec EcoFlow, EcoFlow, gosh, I, it, it's not intentional guys, I just kind of say it different and it's not intentional. Anyway, uh, they recommend uh, an XT60i connector, the orange one, right? And what makes it really different from the XT60 is not the color. If I can get in here, it's this little pen in the middle. That's what really makes it different. Uh, with the Delta Pro, they recommend in order to get that full 1600 watts, they say you have to use an XT60i connector. And if you look online, you'll find a lot of people saying, oh, you know, if they're having problems, why am I not getting my full 1600 watts? So they're like, oh, you're using an XT60 connector instead of an XT60i. That may or may not be true, um, but it seems like the default thing people say whenever someone's saying, why can't I get the full power? Well, it may or may not be true, but a lot of times that gets thrown out there first. Isn't, here's a few things that I've found and I want to share with you. With the XT60i, um, I've had cables, the XT60i, where I plugged it in um, and I still haven't gotten the full output that I thought I should. And I uh, sw switched cable to another XT60i, and I did all of a sudden, I'm like, what's the deal with that? Well, what they say is this pin, if you pull back this connector um, and see this pin has to be pinned to the negative cable in order for it to work properly with the Delta Pro. This is 100% a limitation of the Delta Pro, not a limitation of the cable. This, this cable can clearly um, you know, past 1600 watts, no problem, right? But this is something specific to the Delta Pro. If you look at the XT60, you see there's no middle pin, right? It's completely, you can see that there's no middle pin. So the, the, the thinking online is that, oh, well, you know, without that pin, the Delta Pro doesn't know to pull the full amount. And uh, so you won't ever get the 1600 watts. And I believe that for months, um, probably a year now, but I can say that's bull crap because 
let me tell you about this specific cable, all right? This is an XT60 to MC4 cable. You can get on Amazon, whatever. All right, what's interesting about this is I had this connected to one of my solar arrays. I had it plugged into one of my Delta Pros and I was getting the full 1600 watts on, yes, an XT60 connector. Full 1600, worked great. For uh, the other day, I needed to switch over and move some things around. So I plugged the same array, the same cable into another one of my Delta Pros while I moved it. And guess what? I didn't get the 1600 watts. I didn't get close to 1600 watts. I got 900 watts. I'm like, what? What's going on here? Plugged it back into the other Delta Pro. Boom, 1600 watts. <laughs> so I shared all that to tell you, it's not the connector, it's the Delta Pro. And um, some Delta Pro's units clearly don't need the XT60i with the pen, and some do. And I don't know any rhyme or reason. I don't know what the manufacturing date may be or something like that. Um, I plugged the same cable back into the other one, got my 1600 watts again, so I know it's not the cable, it's the Delta Pro unit that can be different. That said, on the Delta Pro that was not pulling the 1600 watts, I did switch to an XT60i connector on that, got the 1600 watts. So, <laughs> I just found that interesting. Um, and I wanted to share that to let you know that if you're not getting the full power that you, you believe you should be getting, it may or may not be the cable, um, but the, if you, the, your best chance is to get an XT60i that is pinned to the negative, the black wire, that's the best chance to get your full 1600 watts from your array, assuming your array is obviously producing in surplus of 1600 watts. Hope that helps. It certainly was interesting to me and I wanted to share it with you.